Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Knife Legion. Let's play some more Factorio. So, you might notice there are a few differences here. Um, I did some work off camera mostly because I needed to move the wall that was previously here. And I need to move that up here so we can continue expanding the factory. In hindsight, I probably should have pushed it a bit further, but hey. I got kind of distracted. I set up a cool looking gate with lights and everything. Um, and then I made this crossroads, and that made me really far too happy. It shouldn't have made me as happy as it did, the fact I made a little crossroads. But yeah, so I've extended the wall out. We've got laser turrets everywhere. Um, they're mostly doing the job. Um, attacks are still coming in quite frequently. But I believe we're, we're, we're free of the worst of the trouble now. We've got almost a full perimeter of gun, gun and laser turrets. And the gun turrets are just there to back up the laser turrets. There we go, we can actually see 11 turrets engaged with the enemy. We're not taking any damage yet. Yep, okay, we seem to be weathering these attacks without taking too much damage. We do want to get ourselves a tank and take out some of these bases, because they are getting closer and closer to our perimeter again. So, you know, that's something we do have to work on. But to do that, we are going to need to start making engines and robots and all that fun stuff. So, uh, well, actually, we need, to, we need to set some research first. Uh, what research do we want? I was working towards power armor. That would actually be kind of useful. Power armor. We'd need processing units, which we don't have, but we think we'll have everything else, so we could have that pretty soon. Uh, have we got all the stuff for robotics? Let's find out. I believe so. And I don't want beacons just yet. Yeah, let's get some power armor research. That'll actually be really quick. While that's doing, we need to start setting up some new stuff in this new area we've got here. Now, we do want engines and robots, but also I would like to start getting made... Where are you? Uh, Roboports, we need to get made automatically. We need all the chests to be made automatically. But I'm actually looking for substations, so I'm going to set that up now. And we're going to have a couple of factories just making ourselves some substations, so that we can have those ready to go because I want to get a stockpile of them ready for what comes next. So we're going to do that here. And for those you are going to need steel plate, advanced circuits and copper. So we're just going to do my usual way of doing things here. Which is going to involve immediately having to go get more supplies because I don't have enough stuff on me. God damn it. Oh, okay, power armor's already done. What do I need for power armor 2? If we could go straight to power armor 2, that'd be pretty cool. Speed module 2, fine. Oh, now we're taking some damage. One of the gun turrets. Oh, down by the iron mine. That's fine. Oh, wow, did I take all of those? How many are in there? No, oh, there's a lot in there. I guess I want that many. It's fine. I'll take a bunch of you as well. I do have a lot of lasers on me. No, nope, stuff is still getting damaged. I can probably put some of these lasers back now that I'm not running around all over the place. Um, I probably don't need all this ammo either. All these gun turrets, but hey, problems that I have. Right, where was I? I was trying to set this up, wasn't I? Okay, speed module 2 is done. What do I need now? Yeah, efficiency modules. Let's do some of that. I think we'll have three factories making these for us, just so they're... Actually no, just two, because I'm going to leave it a while. They'll have time to build up the buffer I need. So we don't actually need that stuff up the top there. That can come down, copy that into that. Right, let's get some power to these guys. Oop. And efficiency modules are done really quickly. Power to you, power to you. Ooh, laser turret actually being damaged. That must be a fairly big attack. There are some big attacks coming in. And some of these bases around here are pretty big. So we are going to need that tank sooner rather than later. But obviously I have my priorities completely screwed up. So, you know, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, now we need copper. And unfortunately my batteries are kind of... Oh, my batteries are all in the way here. Uh, all of this needs to go, unfortunately. There we 
we go. Getting a little tight on space there, but I can fit this in by doing that. There we go. That works fine. Uh, steel and advanced circuits were next. You'll do for steel. And you'll do for advanced circuitry. I doing this wrong? I do this all the time. Do I not normally do them in this close proximity? I guess not. Okay, we need to turn that around a bit. So, anyway, I'm just slowly losing my mind, but it's fine. We're going to get there. We can, we can, we'll make it together, guys. There we go. Now it's all good. Now everything's actually working as I want it to. Okay, that should be all the stuff these guys need to start working, apart from the fact I didn't give them an output yet. That, that's my bad. Where's my advanced circuits? Where are they? Damn it, there's always one around the wrong way. Or two. Or three. Okay, they're all around the wrong way. I can immediately see another problem here, in that I've got those all the wrong way. There we go. That's around the right way, that's fine. Plonk that there. Plonk that there. And make me a good number of those, please, good sirs. You're not in range. You need power. There we go, that's neater. That'll do. That should work quite happily for us, actually. It's not taking as long to make those as I thought it would. Okay, now we need to do the whole robot thing. So, we're going to want engines first. We need to make flying robot frames. So, to make flying robot frames, which are somewhere on here, I swear, we need electric engine units and batteries and all that good stuff. Uh, we're also going to need, and I don't have any of these yet, we haven't actually made any yet, Advanced assembly machines. Assembly machine freeze because we need four components. Oh no, four four ingredients. We can do that with a blue. That's okay. I thought it was one level higher than that, but it's not. I was telling you all a lie. So, electric engine units are going to need engine units and lubrication. So we need to get engine units being made first. Um, and we always want a bunch of these. So. So we are going to need pipe, is the first thing. I always forget the way to do this best. But you want to be making me some pipe. And is it normal pipe or is it underground pipe? It is normal pipe. So I'm just going to need one factory making me some local pipe. And you're just going to need some steel. Uh, some iron, rather. that around the right, the, the right way this time. Right, this pipe is just going to go straight out onto a belt. And we're going to run that to feed in like this. So that can run up there like that. And you'll take in pipe from there. And that should be able to keep up with a bunch. If you're making one pipe every half a second. I wonder if 
can you go faster with more inserters? you fill up okay damn it I've had this problem before with that not working properly won't put it on that corner okay I want to see if I can speed this up further without having to do any maths so let me just experiment for a moment Okay, speed module freezer done. Continue working for that power armor. No, I don't think it ever I don't think it makes enough of a difference to really be worth it. There we go, we'll leave that as is. So you are gonna be making me the standard engine units. You've got your pipe coming in, so you're gonna need steel and iron gear wheels, one of each. So I'm actually gonna do a joint belt there. Here's hoping I've got enough space for it. What I really want to do is bring those in like that. Oh, never attack. It's fine. It's a bit convoluted. But that should work fine. And then the inserter can just take off of there and put into you. Okay. Get more research going. And we are, of course, going to want so many robots, it's untrue. So we're actually going to have, I think we're going to have five of these. Let's just set up for mass production straight away. Okay, there we go. Five of those set up. We're going to need to run this belt a bit higher. this side and we're going to run those into the electric engine factory. Now it's just one, how many, it's one engine unit to one electric engine and I don't really want standard engine units for anything at the moment. Oh, oh, oh no, what happened to my power? Okay. We had a minor problem with power there. That surprises me. So, I mean, we, we, we're going to go check that out because that shouldn't have happened. We did expand our power supply. Um, we've got quite a few accumulators, which were. They did all run out of power, actually. Ah, there's my car. I was kind of looking for you. Come on, let's go check out the power situation. Could have just been a big attack and lots of lasers firing. I want to make sure. Yeah, we've still got plenty of fuel. So we actually have... Uh, we have... we have One, two, three, four, five, six. We have 60 steam engines going currently. Plus the solar panel arrays and the basic accumulators. And we are charging up the basic accumulators. It's just when all the laser turrets start firing at once. That is going to cause a problem. But once we get some tanks going and kill. Oh god. Oh god. What did I just destroy? Oh no. I just destroyed a chest full of uh, stuff I needed. Damn it. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I've got to fix all this. That was that was poor driving. That was entirely my fault. Uh, I don't have any more chests on me. I'm a bit low on iron. Oh well. 
Well, that's annoying because I could use a few more medium poles. Actually, no, I've got plenty. Yeah, that costs us a little bit. Next time, I think I'll make this ever so slightly wider. Because the car doesn't really like going in a straight line, I found. It does not entirely enjoy going in a straight line. What do you need? Steel and iron gear wheels. Okay. Steel and iron gear wheels. There's the iron gear wheels. I need to extend all this along, otherwise I'm going to get my spacing mixed up. Uh, batteries. Batteries can stay there for a while. I'm not sure what else is going to need batteries beyond where we currently are. There we go. Okay, steel is going up. Once I get all of these facing the right way, because no matter what I do, they're always going the wrong way. Okay, that should have everything it needs now, so if we can give you some juice... There we go. So they do take quite a while to make. Which does make me kind of want to have a buffer. I mean, what's the actual timings here? 20 seconds for that, 20 seconds for that. So it is a one-to-one -one ratio, actually. I'm going to do something which I wasn't going to do. I'm going to put them directly into the assembly machine. for the fast power, and I'm going to need to get... How am I going to work this, actually? Damn it. Okay, I've got to get lubricant in there, and electronic circuits, and then get the engines out. Actually, that's not too much of a problem, I don't think. That's actually this really not a problem at all. I can already see in my mind's eye how this is going to work. Okay, so I'm going to need to tie that into my pipelines, which are somewhere back along there. We haven't brought them down with us very much. Then we'll have a belt coming up here. To put in... Uh, whatever it was, these always need... Uh, electric circuits. And, let's see, you've already got your engine units, so it's just a case of outputting, and long-handled inserters should work fine for that. So they'll go out onto another belt to give us some electric engines going that way. And we have... excellent! We can now start researching Power Armor Mark II. So we're going to skip early Power Armor entirely. Laser terrors are all firing again. So, okay. It's a momentary blip in power. We didn't even take any damage then. This is why we do have gun turrets there as well. So, you need to be circuitry.
perfect. Now we've just got to hook up the oil. Now it looks like that was another fairly big attack there. Okay, somewhere back along here there is oil, I swear. Yeah, ooh, we could use... Okay, we are using up a number of red circuitry now. Uh, what are you lacking? Are you lacking anything? Hmm. That could do with being faster. Oh, we might need another one. I mean, it's not entirely running out, but it, I, could, I could see an advantage in it speeding up its processing slightly. These are all working, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay. No, sorry, I'm just double-checking I've not had that set up wrong for the last billion episodes. Right. Where is my lubricant? Did I not hook up my lubricant at all? Could have sworn... We are making lubricant, aren't we? I, I know we're making lubricant. I'm sure I remember setting up lubricant somewhere. Unless I'm thinking of sulphur. I'm going mad. Nope. Okay. Oh, God. It's okay. I've got massive tanks full of it. Ah, there we go. There is a pipe of it. I must have just... Okay, yeah. What happened to this pipe? Why is it not at the end with the other pipes? Eh? What have I done? Okay. I just stopped. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Ooh, we are low on petroleum. Interesting. Okay, I need to investigate what's going on with some of that. But I think I'm going to do that next episode so thank you guys for watching hope you're enjoying this do feel free to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you later next time bye